Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Star Wars Major Fan Club podcast, Swam Nation, and I'm joined today by... Introduce yourselves guys, come on. Hey guys, I'm Andrew, the club treasurer. And I'm Sean, the club president. And I'm Sanjeev. Hello there. <laughs> okay, alright guys, let's just dive in because we've got a lot of stuff that we want to cover, right? We're going to start off with the usual, the club news and updates. So, uh, Sean, how did the blood donation drive go the other day? Oh, it was awesome. Um, basically, we have actually covered uh, three um, characters. Uh, one which is actually uh, Rafi. The other one is uh, Jeremy. Who is this and... Rafi that you speak of? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rafi is our committee member. No, oh really? Oh god, okay. Gosh. And... No, so there's not a Jedi named Rafi because Rafi sounds like a very Jedi-ish name. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, Full then... name is what? Shin Shabani Rafi al Ezra Okay, that's <laughs> right? <laughs> not that you say it like that. Yeah, it, it's a good Star Wars name. True. And then we have also Shorty. Andrew. Hey! What? So we had Andrew, right? Yeah, yeah. we had Andrew there, and Andrew, uh, yeah. it was just an a, awesome thing. Yeah. We have actually also collected about 106 bags for the Pusat Dara Negara, and uh, all of the people were very happy. They were doing post uh, posts with the uh, people with lightsabers and the guy who came with the stormtrooper helmet. Uh, it was fun. Uh, That'd be uh, Jeremy Young, I think. Yeah, yeah it is. Jeremy Young. Yeah. It is. Jeremy Young. Uh, stormtrooper. And, and then oh, amazingly, so amazingly, we had someone who dresses. Uh, a t-shirt uh, with a uh, stormtrooper. Remember? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Got a so, photo of her, right? Yeah, we'll probably yeah. flash it up on screen right now, uh, just so that you guys can see. Um, yeah, we. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'll say that much. Yeah. Apparently, I'm not allowed to donate simply because I spent time in the UK, like way back when. So, yes, mad cow. I'm a mad cow. Apparently, I'm definitely a mad cow. I was too busy and I couldn't make it. <laughs> but Andrew gave blood. I did. Yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, so at least I out didn't of see anything. What? The, the, <laughs> liar! You lie. <laughs> but at least there's I one out of four. Hey, yeah. no, no, no. Je- Jeremy also gave blood. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I was there for that. Yeah. We've got a picture of you of, uh, for you guys here of Jeremy actually giving blood as well. You know, um, they didn't allow him to put his helmet on while he was giving blood because they were afraid he was going to pass out or something. Yeah, so that is something that <laughs> Apparently that's afraid. standard security mm. protocol, right? Correct. Yeah, safety protocol. And then protocol. after yeah. that, we actually took a, a group photo where we, someone hold the bag and I was putting a lightsaber on it. That would just like evaporate all the blood, right? Yeah. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Yes, it would have. So, okay, I suppose the oh. blood donation drive was a success. Oh, yes, it was. It was very happy. Bags, huh? That's quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they also gave us a appreciation uh, note. Uh, saying that we have actually su- uh, supported them. Okay. And this is the second year we have supported them. I'm so happy. All right. Okay. All right. So, recently, what else we also had was the I Am Your Father's Day event that was at Borders. Uh, Sanjeev, your thoughts? Right. It was really, really terrible. No one showed up. You know, we were just all <laughs> there around in costumes, just hanging around, waiting about, lazing around. Nah, it was, it was brilliant, right? So, all of us were there this time. I managed to make it too. And yeah, we had a fantastic turnout. Uh, Bordas was actually very gracer, gracious in actually holding us up too. Um, we started the day at about 11 a.m., I believe, after the yeah. setup. Yeah. So we had like a treasure hunt, a mini treasure hunt in store. Then we was, uh, you know, doing a membership drive. We mm-hmm. actually had our okay. merchandise, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. our merchandise that, you know, we were selling or donating to charity as well. Mm. And so that reminds me, I need to get the check from Bordas very soon. Ah. Right. <laughs> then there was a coloring competition for kids and... <laughs> There were quite a few people who came dressed up in costumes, you know, there were a lot of our fan club members who actually heeded our call. And so there was like, you know, a few little Jedi, there was yeah. like a yeah. young Padme as well, that was a pretty nice suit. Yeah. What and did they get for, they got a prize, right? They did. Dressing, dressing up. they did, they did, they got uh, bodice vouchers actually, like 20 ringgit vouchers. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, you know, X-wing and... Pilot. Oh, that was an X-Wing pilot yes. baby, that's we right. Had a junior X-Wing yeah. pilot and, as well, and, yeah. and the winner, this is, this is the best oh. part, the winner, we've never seen this costume in Malaysia before, right? It was actually a working ad at all-terrain armored transport. Yeah. And so, so that was brilliant. AT-AT for you people that don't speak American. Right, uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that was, that, that was great, ad at yeah, right? ad yeah. And um, yeah, and then the, the day ended... Uh, at about 5 p.m. or so, or at least our event did. Uh, Vader didn't show up as usual, the absent father, as you've so eloquently yeah, right. said yeah. before. Gosh, that that MC, I tell you, what a what a magnificent specimen of a human. I being. know, yeah. definitely, <laughs> yeah. magnificent name too. I mean, again, Jedi Rafi, Shad Shabani, yeah. Aral. Uh, <laughs> it's not the same person as you mentioned before, was it? Uh, 
I don't know. Is he? Yeah, he's a mystery. No one knows who he is. Yeah. All I all I know is that from what I know, he he managed to speak for about you know six hours straight while fasting. So you know, I think that's that's quite a skill. I must I must admit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay. So right, Abe, uh, how, how many new members did we get actually that day? Oh wow, <laughs> too many. <laughs> too many. Uh, yeah, uh, but no. In all seriousness, we got uh, at least about fifty new members. You know, 50? and uh, yes, okay. and so we had like about thirty-five or so uh, regular. adult regular members, right, mm-hmm. and about twenty-ish junior members as well. Okay. So, oh, right. Yeah, so this means forget. something. Oh. Not to forget. Yes. The GM of Border is a five hundred member. Oh, that's right. Yes. 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 So that's true. Uh, so we have officially gone past five hundred. We have yes, gone yeah. past five hundred. Actually, right. quite a bit past five hundred. Five hundred ten ish. Start new chapters. Yes, please talk to the we're, director we're, of membership, and he'll get you a new chapter we're, somewhere. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're just sure. about making this one work. I don't yeah. know about trying to make a new one. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> one step at a time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So go slow. Big success then. Big success, Borders event. Of course it was. Uh, Most I, th- I think it goes. It's a swamp fact event. Of course it's going to be successful, right? Of course it's going to be right? success, right? Yeah. Actually. Well, that's good then. So, um, the Force Awakens screening updates. What have we got for that? Why did I pass him back? I, don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I thought. I Maybe thought. You again? Uh, yeah. No. Why always me? Um, where was I? Oh right. Uh, the TFA screening update. I think the the last number that we managed to handle was about a hundred and. Eight or 109? 108. 109. Okay. Yeah, around there. Mm-hmm. So we only have like about 20 or so left on our list before you know we maxed out basically and then we pretty much draw the line there as well because even now it's just rows A's and rows B's yeah. that, 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 okay. that's so open, right? Yeah. For some reason, because I've actually said a, that wing before just to gauge it in the theatre, you know, we do our reckeys, right? Mm-hmm. It's actually not too bad. Well, from a certain point of view. Yeah, from a certain point of view. But yes. not to worry, there are a few that's not paid up yet. <laughs> yeah. So Actually, the seat's oh. gonna be open. So those who have not paid up, please do so. If not, you'll lose your seat. <laughs> this is not a Jedi mind trick, people. <laughs> actually, you know what? Um, <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll throw it to Andrew right now. Andrew, how are we on the seat payments actually? Actually, the vast majority of people all have paid on time uh, within the three days and some even within the first hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> They're incredibly fast, so thank you very much for that. There are a few though who have yet to pay, who have gone past the three days, um, and some who have taken like 36 hours to sign up. You know who yeah, you guys are. Uh, yeah. You know we appreciate your help in you know moving exp- things along, <laughs> expediting the process. Yeah, yeah you, know, go you, go, you gotta understand. You know we have to wait for you while you know on Facebook and to get you. Now wait I'm for just you. Watch this video and I know we're not gonna pay up. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, I suppose we'll just open up the uh, open yeah, up I mean, someone else. That's it. I suppose. Final warning, guys. You know those who haven't paid for after three days. Okay. We're being very lenient here. Treasurer has spoken. Mm. Treasurer has spoken. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now let okay. <laughs> Actually, speaking of the Force Awakens, since it's one of our future events, uh, let's talk about another future event that we've got coming up. We've got uh, Animangaki, right? Uh, the dates have been confirmed. It's going to be on Merdeka weekend, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, which will be the 30th. But would that be 30th? a lot of people? Oh yeah, it's going to be a long weekend because yeah, Merdeka... Yeah, would, would they people be leaving from KL and go back to their own towns? And... No, it's not Raya, John, so don't worry. <laughs> There's no Balik Kampong thing associated with... Uh, with um, so yeah, okay. Yeah, very very unlikely. So, uh, looks Just like raids and public disorder. And yeah. Like that. <laughs> it's it's gonna be pretty big, I think, because uh, I think uh, Animangaki they're aiming to be even bigger than they were last year, right? and they were already pretty big last year as well. So. So are we gonna get a corner for this? The you know Western costumers. Um, I think we're in discussions to see what sort of presence uh, mm-hmm. Star Wars is gonna have, and okay. by extension, uh, the Star Wars Major Fan Club and. By extension as well, the Star Wars Malaysia Alliance. Yeah. So we'll be, be I, I think, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're in talks right now to, see, to figure out like, you know, what sort of presence we want to have, what kind of floor space we're going to get, and how many, um, you know, exhibitors or displays we ourselves want to bring. For sure though, we're going to be bringing a lot of our cosplayers, mm-hmm. and maybe a certain Jedi with an unpronounceable name who I'm not going to say right now is probably going to show up as well. No, Possibly. Because the thing is, it's going to be like something like a mini Comic Con. Yeah, you know where we have our own space. Mm. You know that that would, that would be great. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you could do like a, a Western convention within an anime convention, yeah, yeah that that'll be the best, I guess. Before we make our own convention, then. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hope one day, one day. Hopefully, we'll be big enough to do that one day. Yeah. And speaking of the future, ah, the rumors on the ground about a whole bunch of new 
plasticky things. I think they're called toys. Mm, cool. Although, you know, I think uh, people would prefer to call them collectibles. <laughs> yeah. It is collectible. <laughs> <laughs> one man's junk is another one's collectible. Oh, come on, shut up. <laughs> yeah. True. No, I, I call it what it is. They are toys. Come on, people. Collectors, come on. Just be honest with yourselves. They're toys. Collect them. No, no I, I, I would have we to We have disagree. a few examples right now. There we what go. Yeah. It? No, that doesn't work. Because it's a toy. <laughs> it works. <laughs> <drugs. laughs> Oh, well, yeah, so, new wave of toys. Ooh. And this is your first time playing with a Jedi Starfighter? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Looks like it. Yep, doesn't know how to figure that out. There we go. An engineer looking at the thing. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, um, speaking of new toys. Seven at the sprites could do that. Try any guy that I didn't know either. I had no idea. Oh, it comes with a ring. Oh, okay. The the, the hyperspace module. Okay, alright, cool. Wait, no, this version doesn't come with the ring. No, no, you can't actually mix and match. I like to mix and match. You know, collectors do that. So, so it doesn't come with the ring? It does not come with the ring. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay, we've managed, to, we've managed to cover ourselves there. Any are yeah, toys! Yeah, there we go, they're toys. Um, apparently, the word has it that there's going to be a new wave of mm-hmm. collectibles slash toys slash plasticky things that are coming September, is it? If yeah. I'm not mistaken? Yeah. September the 4th. September the 4th. Yes, it had a lot! Yes, you did. Oh, yes, you okay. Did. However, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be like a global release. It's uh, called Force yeah. Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> but the thing, the thing with that though is, is that we know that's the global release date and that's the US release date. But what about Malaysia? Where Actually, you know, we have no idea. Absolutely none. I think because you know, it's, or do we not? I, well, hmm. Maybe. Oh, don't give spoilers. Yeah, t- time zones. <laughs> time zones. Time zones. Everyone. Time zones. You know, the fourth yeah. of September here is the third of September over there, and you know, yeah, we're all so, pretty yeah. tired with teasers already, aren't we? Yeah. And we can yes. do it midnight. Hmm. Midnight. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. I don't know. Maybe, you know, if if uh, if our fan club would like to do something like that, I suppose they could always uh, drop a comment with us at the bottom of this video. Oh yeah. By the way, we're looking for volunteers. There we go. So yeah. we are looking for volunteers for an event that we don't even know is about to happen. Well, yeah. cry out first. That's true. <laughs> no, we've used the force. I mean, we've seen yeah. the future, right? Always in motion. It is always in motion. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Um. You know. Uh. For an event that might not or might happen on a day that might not or might not be the fourth. <laughs> it would be nice if we could actually get some volunteers to, you know, join us, you know, and, and join in the fun with us because we can't do this alone and it's the community that makes makes everything happen. Rafi, right? so, so, yeah. the club advocates fun. There we go. Of course. Thought it advocated yeah. completing and not competing. That well, the objective that. is to have fun. Oh, there objective, motto, statement. There we right. go. Yeah, yeah. Vision <laughs> statement. Vision statement. There we go. You know, over there. strategy <laughs> and right. tactics. You see, you have a strategy. You use tactics to execute a strategy. So, right. you know, there we go. Right. I'm so, a student. All this is lost on me. <laughs> so, September. Sometime in September. Not sure when. Not sure where. But we're 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 pretty certain that something might or might not happen. There we go. <laughs> oh God, you guys. Okay. <laughs> well. So, on to the hot topics of the week, and I think everybody um, knows about what happened to a certain former child star, right? Who used to go by the name Jake Lloyd and is now Jake Broadbent, got caught speeding, right? Uh, by a bunch of cops, ended up in a high uh, high speed pursuit. Big deal. He went on a pot race, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. Right. Pretty great. Yeah. But I, you know, that that that's 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 fine. But I think uh, what I want to focus on is the fact that uh, this seems to be an excuse for people to start their vilification of Jake Lloyd all over again. You know, everybody which actually never left. Yeah, I which, yeah, that is true. Which actually see. never left. Yeah, but like you know, after you know, the, the episode one, I, I know you like episode one because you're a Jar Jar guy. So. <laughs> Actually, I prefer episode 3 in the order rank of the prequels, but yeah, I mean, I'm a prequel guy. I, I mean, I've got no nothing so bad to say about the prequels as how mm-hmm. some really vilify and hate it because I kind of understand, you know, yes, if you look at them as a whole, they are probably not as good as the original trilogy. Yeah. Not probably, I mean, this is a known yeah, fact, They're right? definitely not good. Okay. <laughs> However, I take the good and the bad, right, because I love the saga so much that I just can't help but say episode 1, 2, 3. Still Star Wars, guys. It's still Star Wars. So. But the thing is that you see, have any of us haven't, you know, done speeding before? I think we all have. Yeah, yeah but yeah, the thing it's is, a, it's a matter of whether we get caught or not. Agreed. <laughs> but why do we vilify someone mm-hmm. 
And uh, you know, that's basically has nothing to do with us anyway. Who are we to judge? Hmm. Lots of people do though. Agreed, but you see, you know, when you come to, to easy to, 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 target, I guess. Yeah, you come to think of it. For some people. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I'm 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 not gonna be religious here, but you know, he who has not sinned can may cast the first stone. That was what uh, our you know uh, Messiah said. You mean okay. Anakin? <laughs> But no, you're, you're absolutely uh, right, Sean. And I think uh, the part that I got slightly taken aback by was, you know, just hardly six hours after the incident broke, right? Yeah. That uh, Jake Lloyd's face was pretty much superimposed or photoshopped <coughs> to look like, you know, something that he was not. I mean, he's still a 26-year-old kid. The original Mark Shot is out and we put that up on our wall as well. Exactly. And you can see it's a, almost a total 180 of what... You know, Jake Lloyd was supposed to look like, or rather, Jake Broadband was supposed to look like, and the fact that they could do that just immediately, like six hours after the fact, it, it, yeah, it's mm. I think unacceptable. What are you guys doing, Star Wars fans? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I I suppose I can't speak for all fans, but then again, as much as I did not like Jake Lloyd's portrayal of Anakin Skywalker as a young kid, um, I can't really blame him. He, he worked with the director and the material that he had and that was the portrayal that he came up with. And again, bearing in mind, he was only what, 10 at the time? He was actually 8. eight wow. Years old. Jake Lloyd yeah. was, yeah. was auditioned at 8, well, 7.5 to 8 yeah. and they went with him because he seemed to be the most natural. The rest of the 9-year-old kids came across as a little bit older, wiser and they wanted to capture someone that's a little bit more innocent and so they went off with Jake Lloyd at the time. Hmm. So imagine, yeah, he's an eight-year-old kid, and yeah. you know, I mean, what were you doing at eight, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember. Yeah, there we go. I remember yeah, marbles 90, was one of the 90. things that we played. I I remember school. swallowing marbles. <laughs> primary was school. What was I doing in primary school? Not paying attention in class. No. Fan of Jurassic Park. I remember, I remember when I was in my, you know, I swallowed a marble and my dad brought me to the hospital and I felt so terrified because I thought it was a police station and they were going to probe me or something to get it out. <laughs> oh, wow. See, this, this was it Kevin is... Search? <laughs> <laughs> this is a G-rated show, Sean. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it was... Family friendly. I, I was eight, you know, and that's what I was doing at eight. But Jake Lloyd at eight was starring in the biggest saga of all time. Mm-hmm. And you know, and we can barely remember what we did at eight, but mm-hmm. Jake Lloyd will forever remember what he did at eight, and yeah. people won't let him forget that. You know, True. and and the thing is that, and they take it to another level where yes. they actually say that he destroyed the saga and yeah. he destroyed Darth Vader. Yeah, like really, I, I don't think that's fair. I over speeding? No, not over speeding. Oh, just him. Yeah, you know? but it's just that all because of his you know recent speeding uh, arrest. That all of this stuff is coming back out again. You know, all of this stuff that and people not not to condone younger, what he did. So, yeah. I mean, so, so there was a little bit of, of chatter at least, I guess, as well. Like you know that he shouldn't be doing things like this if he doesn't want to be caught. But I mean, again, the the seriousness of the crime. I mean, it's not that you know he was on drugs that we know of. And I think there's a little bit more of this vilification that came out. Apparently, like the tabloid had said that you know that yeah he's actually a schizophrenic now. And all, and then they have used that one source, and then it's spread like wildfire. You know, you have the Daily Mail, you oh, have uh, TMZ that's reporting all this, which is just again, you know, constantly vilifying the kid. I mean, he changed his name from Jake Lloyd to Jake Broadband. That kind of gives you a hint he wants to disappear. Yeah, so. but unfortunately now everybody knows his name is Jake Broadband now, and uh, he's probably uh, gonna have to change his name again. Yeah. That's how what it looks like. I hope he does, and he. Lives a good life. If you yeah. watch this, Jake, all the best. Yep. There yeah, Jake. Go. All the best to you, Jake Broadbent. Yeah. On to... May the Force be with you. Yes, from May the Force be with you. <laughs> On to more positive things. Um, some interesting news as well in the last week. The final books in the Shakespeare series of Star Wars books has oh. been put out there into the wild. Yeah. Uh, thank you to uh, Kesha, who actually put it up on the Star Wars group. Yeah. Uh, you know, all the new book covers and everything. Um, now, here's the thing. Not many people know what these series of Shakespeare books are, so I suppose maybe you guys could give a rough explanation to our fans who don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. What are they? <laughs> there you go. Okay, so... Um, uh, honest honest answer. Answer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen the covers and I've not read any of them, unfortunately. Okay, so you so two actually, can explain actually, to actually, him actually, what they are. Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> um, no, I, I can take this one, Rafi. So, what they basically are is... Um, 
an author by the name of Ian Dasher, right? Who I had the privilege actually of meeting because I think Rafi will bring that up later. He actually visited our, you know, small part of the galaxy, this small little corner where time has okay, forgotten, Okay, I'm, I'm really right? bitter about missing it. I'm sorry, <laughs> Rafi. I actually, you know, because, okay, just to quickly interject, I actually won uh, a, a series of uh, Ian, Ian Dasher books last year uh-huh. during our right. movie pub quiz that we had at the B, mm-hmm. right? Right. And I was told at the time that he was going to be come, coming down to Malaysia the following year. And I'm like, okay, fine, I have the books. I'm going to get him to sign them. But of course, I wasn't around when he came down. You could have passed me the books. I could have signed them on your behalf. But that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Some people just like that signature. And that Probably would have ended up misspelling my name or something. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially that long Jedi name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so yeah, right. these series of books. So the what, series what of books, about, right? Yeah. yeah, so what they basically are about, in essence, is, is that Yen Dasha actually went back to the original screenplay to actually look at the source material and also watch the movies. But at the same time, he actually, uh, because being a Shakespearean fan as well, rewrote Star Wars the way that Shakespeare would do it. So it's not just an idea or an essence of, you know, just taking whatever was in the movies or just taking the screenplay and just converting it with dies and thous yeah. and shelts and near to bees, etc. right? It was actually really well thought out. And so, you know, you have like inner dialogues and inner conversations and, you know, grand, mm. um, you know, um, like, what are those words? You know, where you just start talking all the way about what Monologues. Monologues. There yeah, we go. That's right. Yeah. You know, soliloquies, monologues, things like that, you know, of where um, we get a more insight to the character, but at the same time, it's dra- done in this tragic Shakespearean style, which is pretty cool. And, and uh, as I mentioned as well, I think, uh, before that, you know, it's, it's a different take on something we know and love already. And because of this, he's been getting rave reviews from all across the spectrum, especially mm, from okay. Star Wars fans too. But to his own admission, he said that it's the Shakespeare fans that are giving him a lot of flack about this, believe it or not. You know, they're a little bit like more niche, right? And so yes. they're like, you know, how dare it you convert our t- <laughs> pieces, <laughs> you know. So. I mean, I like books. I read them. Um, basically, I've gone for a, 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 what do you call a, a workshop that does uh, 25,000 words per minute. Uh, it's called photo reading. And uh, for these books, no, I want to read word for word because it's it's so unique, you know. How do you read twenty five thousand words? It's a photo reading. It's you get a comprehension of seventy eight percent. Okay. I mean, I'll tell to you guys. We'll, 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 we'll cover that some other time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called using the force. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is that these are not just simple things that you want to get the essence of the book, but you want to get the word, you know, the word that they use, the, the way they actually phrase it. You know, the way they actually do it in the Shakespeare way, you see? So that's, I think, hmm, it's great. That's why I missed Ian Dusha. And, uh, well, Sean and I are in the same boat about this. We're both uh, really look. sad <laughs> about yeah. missing out. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm in the middle of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, for... For those You're of you that are boots. listening at home or in your offices boots. or wherever you guys are listening to this... Um, if you can, guys can get onto the Star Wars, the official Star Wars YouTube account. Mm-hmm. Um, when uh, Ian McDiarmid, the Emperor, was interviewed on stage at Star Wars Celebration, <coughs> the, he actually was given a passage to read from uh, one of the books where he faces down uh, Luke in the throne room on the Death Star. Mm-hmm. And he does that entire monologue, not just in the Emperor's voice, but in the Emperor's voice, Shakespearean style. Wow! I think you guys. Uh, we'll, we'll throw a link uh, in the description okay, below yeah. of, of where this is. But like, right. it's, I have it's, yet it's to amazing. watch that. It's amazing! Nice. It's amazing! Yeah. Like to know I, 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 goosebumps, chills, honestly, watching that. So yeah. So basically, we have you know the, these books. Uh, obviously, there are six movies, right? Uh, four have been released so far. The books and two are incoming, which is what we're talking oh, about. I'm gonna right buy now. them. <laughs> yeah. I hope no. I got the the, the one with the set. I want yeah. to buy the other three. So if it comes in a three, that'll be... It's a, it's a prequel. It's a prequel ones that are coming the, back. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah, And and they definitely will release the whole saga again. But I believe uh, the episode three or the episode the three, you know, the Revenge of the Sith, the tragedy of the Sith's revenge, yeah, rather, right? Yeah, the tragedy right? of the Sith's revenge. Yeah, and so th- I think episode two is the clones attack it or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 But I think the, um, the tragedy of the Sith's revenge is supposed to come out only in like September, perhaps, hmm. if I'm not okay. mistaken. And so... Mm-hmm. 
So I don't know whether it's going to be a part of Force Friday, but it'll be great if it was. Wait, I mean, wait, if it came Keshav up, has the book already? No, no, he found the uh, he found the covers. Oh, right. Uh, we'll 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 throw out the we'll throw out the covers for you guys to see right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, these these are incoming September. Who knows? Maybe maybe not part of that sort of maybe don't know whether that event is happening. Can we have Ian to come or back or? again? Actually, you know what, Ian, if you're listening. Um, to make myself happy and Sean happy, please come back. And all us uh, fans happy too. No, no, never mind the other fans. Just, <laughs> just me and Sean. Just, just me and Sean. It's enough, you know. Uh, we'll bring Andrew along so that he can get educated, yeah. considering that he's very blur about these. How kinds could of you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So yeah, Ian, if you're listening, please, please, please. You know, plane tickets are not that expensive now, right? Oh yeah, go Air Asia. Yeah, yeah, go Air Asia. <laughs> Air Asia X. Yes, that's the one. Air Asia X. Yeah. I'm sure after he stuff. watches this, he'll be like, "I'm never coming back to Malaysia ever again. These guys are crazy." Yeah, they 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 look suitably psychotic. Yeah. <laughs> we are a bit crazy. We are. I, I suppose we are, you know. I mean, we're Star Wars fans. We can't possibly be sane by any definition of the word. You know, we're in love with a galaxy far, far away. So yeah. Which is much better than the one we live in, but that goes without saying. But we are still a galaxy far, far away if you consider if someone over there would be looking at us. Yeah, that's true. That is meta, but that is yeah. true. Yeah, that is quite meta. From a certain point of view. Something we have to discuss in another episode, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what if, in a parallel dimension, when Cooper in Interstellar goes into that wormhole, he shows up in a place where the Force Spoilers. exists? No, it doesn't actually show up in the Force. <laughs> <laughs> but now we know that it doesn't show up in the Force. Like, so it is a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want your crown like past you yeah. yeah. past the thought no, 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 or something no, no, no. yeah <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> right my gosh I lost my train of thought but as it is again this is another plea Ian please come, come it's back. the third plea no 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 I'm yes. gonna make another plea until he actually does show up yeah sign my books please thank you mine too <laughs> no no it doesn't need Sean can photo read the the signature and mine no I'm, I'm not I'm just... not photo reading that <laughs> Oh right, the photo. Re- yeah, yeah, he can just read the one of mine. He's gonna remember it. Seventy-eight percent of the signature, anyway. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, let's, let's just quickly move on. Um, Sanjeev, I hear that you have a very interesting tidbit to share with us about Star Wars Battlefront. Battlefield. Um, Battlefront. Right. Cool. So Battlefield. Um. Senility, <laughs> senility. Everybody, recognize the signs when they start. You know, uh, hey. yeah, okay. <laughs> I I appreciate Shakespeare. Okay, I'm not helping your case, Sean. I, I'm not really sure how that discounts you from being senile, but okay, right? All right. Yeah, that, that, that's that's okay. Hey. Yeah. That, that's okay. Yeah. That's alright. Okay, so yeah. Um, right. Sanjay. No, coming back to, to Battlefield or Battlefront, as you call it, right? So, um, remember our first initial podcast where we were talking about, um, you know, uh, speculating, right? Uh, yeah. About Jakku and what had happened during the Battle of Jakku, whether Boba Fett was actually on the planet or not, because we actually see that Star Destroyer crash in the background, right? Yeah, I think uh, we're, we're throwing up the picture for you guys right now to right. see that particular visual. Yeah, That's right. You know, and so uh, that was actually premiered and the gameplay was also all premiered at E3, right? So now the very night after we had that podcast, apparently there was like a Q&A session with the game developers themselves, Dice. Dice. right? Dice. Yeah. And uh, at that Q&A, they were actually asked about this, you know, uh, not because we speculated or we love to think it was because we were speculating on it on our show, but... What? No, we're we'll the center of the galaxy. We we'll yeah, that's true, we right? We are the yeah, center yeah. of the galaxy. And so then what happened was basically um, they came out and they were actually questioned about is, is Boba Fett alive? Is he at Jakku? And what's going on? And they actually used the term for it, and I, I don't quite remember what this term was. You guys can look it up or put it up on, on screen now too. Okay. Uh, where, and I'll, I guess a link to the interview as well would yeah, be great I too, think right? Yeah, yeah, I think we'll you know, put where, in where it's basically a debunking of the fact that, no, that was actually not Jakku, but it was actually Tatooine. <gasps> Tatooine? Yes. Okay. So, right? So that's why you actually see in the trailer as well that there are actually like wow, sand okay. crawlers, you know, in the background and stuff. That's what they were, huh? That's what they were, yeah. That's what those were at the back, yeah. And so Boba Fett is obviously on Tatooine, but now we don't know whether it was, you know, before Return of the Jedi or after, after Return of the Jedi. Okay, that's... And the reason why this, like, Star Destroyer was crashing in the background, they just basically wanted to, you know, like, subliminally draw back to the experience that we've already seen in Jakku that links it up, right? Yeah. But at the same time, it is a completely different 
uh, event or scenario that's happening, but you have direct control over that scenario. And this is the, the name that eludes me at the moment, where, you know, whatever you do in the game, during the gameplay, so, for example, if you didn't fly Boba Fett up a certain way, you know, it wouldn't have caused the TIE fighter to fly off a certain way. And if you didn't fly off a certain way, it wouldn't have hit that X-Wing, that hit that butterfly, that caused that sandstorm, that, you know, okay. dropped the Star butterfly. Destroyer. Yeah, the butterfly effect, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think in game development terms, we call these branching scenarios. Um, right. Yeah, okay, for those of you that don't know, I used to be a game developer. I, I was a game writer in a previous life. And um, how, how they would design these sorts of scenarios is that, you know, um, certain conditions have to be met uh, within the game in order to trigger a certain event, you know? Uh, much like in real life, if you don't, you know, send in your laundry, you will smell. <laughs> that's a consequence, you know? That right. triggers the smell happening if you don't send your laundry to wash. And, uh, but that's Which a very game were you designing, <laughs> uh, but, wow. uh But in terms of this, I think, uh, I think uh, there was a precedent set uh, from the developers of Battlefront in a previous game called uh, Battlefield, right? Where they had something called Levolution, where you know you could activate or trigger certain things happening in the game in order to completely change the dynamic of the game map, right? Mm -hmm. So an example in Battlefield is uh, this um, is this uh, map where you're on a whole bunch of islands, like right? shooting at each other and all that, and there's a battleship waiting in the distance. Right? You can actually tr uh, trigger an event, sort of activate the battleship, so that the battleship will crash into one of the islands, right, and then create a new area for you guys to like shoot in and, and run around and gun in, you know. So my speculation would be that it, it, it could be possible that the Star Destroyer crashing, it could be that you take an X-Wing or you take, you know, any number of fighters and all that, fly up to the Star Destroyer, fly into the bridge, for example, or something, you know, just like what happened with the Star Super Star Destroyer Executor, right? right? And that crashes into the Death Star. But in this scenario, if you were to take it up and then crash into the Star Destroyer, into the bridge, after the shields are down, that could then crash onto the planet, therefore changing the game map for everybody who is below, you know, so it would completely alter how that game, uh, that, that particular match would play out. So in essence, it makes it a little bit more like of an immersive experience yes, where you yeah. have more operational control, so to yeah. speak, of the battlefield. Yeah, and you know, and you would actually then get to actually, you know, live out the fantasy of actually being in the movies at mm -hmm. that point, you know, because you're like, oh, you know, we actually brought down a Star Destroyer. You know? So yeah. Are these legends or are these canon? <laughs> well, um... It's funny that you're posing this question to me after the last podcast that we had. Indeed. <laughs> but um, I think, uh, from what I understand, there is always an official version of events canon uh, about you know these games. You know, for example, the Force Unleashed, which we covered in the last podcast, as an example. The canon story is that Star Killer is good, but you can't play the game as an evil Star Killer, right? So in these sorts of games, yes, you know, we could have. Uh, I think the demo that they showed. Uh, the walker assault on Hoth, yeah. where right. the canon version is the walkers win. You know, they destroy the base and everything and all that. But it is entirely possible for you as a rebel trooper to turn the tide around and the rebels might actually win at Hoth. You know, right. but then that's not the canon story. But yeah. it's it, it's it's uh, your version of events because you participated. Right. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't change... The alternative kind of thing. Yes, yeah. Yeah. alternative history. Yeah. It doesn't change the overall story, you know, ultimately the rebels still lost at Hoth, ultimately the walkers still destroyed the shield generator and everything. And ultimately, Luke Skywalker is not in his Jedi attire and <laughs> holding a green lightsaber, fighting Darth Vader in the snow. Yeah. I think we can all agree that yeah, yeah, yeah. probably <laughs> didn't happen. But you know, that, that's, that's, that's how, that's how um, game scenarios are, are made, you know, you, you don't necessarily, that's why Battlefront doesn't have a story mode. That's the important thing. Right. Battlefront does uh, not have a story mode, you know, because it's not, it's not, uh, what do you call it, rewriting history, but it's giving you a chance to reimagine it. That's what it is. You know, it's all what it's like Sean said, it's, uh, it's alternatives, you know. If you really want, because, you know, if Alternate the, histories of a history that does not exist, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, because if the rebels had won at Hoth, uh, Luke would not have gone to Dagobah. Either that, or he would have gone at a much later time, at which point Yoda might have already died. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> Yoda might have already died, or you know, he, he would have been even more headstrong and even more stubborn and even less receptive to training, which would have... Yeah, 
which would have resulted in him being even Little less green prepared. Man. Which would have been which. <laughs> Did I just call Yoda a little green man? Oops. <laughs> Which would have resulted in Luke being even less prepared when he faced down Darth Vader in Dark City. Mm. And, you know, so yeah, there's that. But, you know, so, yeah, basically we now know, or at the very least, we have very strong suspicion to believe that the desert planet that Boba Fett is seen fighting on is not Jakku. Or they could have just been throwing us a fast one and it turns out to actually be Jakku because there's that DLC coming out yes. like in November, right? Or is uh, it December itself? The, no, the DLC is coming out on December the 1st. December 1st, right? December 1st where it's the Battle of Jakku. It's actually called the Battle of Jakku. It's free DLC, so if you bought the game, um, you can play it for free, right? Um, EA actually doing something nice for a change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, and uh, you'll get to find out how that X-Wing and that Star Destroyer ended up on Jakku in the opening shot of the second teaser trailer. You will find out how those ships get there. You know? Because Boba Fett flew. <laughs> I mean, you know, he flew and then, you know, you know, he, he you know, popped off a rocket at the X-Wing and then after that he accidentally sneezed and crashed into the Star Destroyer which crashed. Right. right. Yeah. This is this is possibly canon by the way. <laughs> the aftermath, right? Speaking of aftermath and speaking of speculation about what's happening next, the, there's a rumor on the ground that at San Diego Comic Con, we'll be getting a new trailer, mm. right? Uh, I think we've all heard this rumor, and you know, I think. Can we like confirm it right now? Swamp Fact declares hereby that <laughs> there is going to be a trailer. Right, you heard it here first, yeah. right? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, we have enough forum to declare it fact, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, definitely. Okay, um, but yeah, um, I think I think it's pretty certain there will be a new trailer at Comic Con, right? I mean, we've already got uh, okay. Uh, we've tried to moderate the group page as best as possible because people have been posting up speculations. I think uh, I think you came across uh, pictures from the set, was it? Uh, um, yeah. Yes, that's right. Yes, the, uh, have you actually taken a look at those pictures? No, I haven't. No, okay, I, I don't right. want to spoil. So, I was about to spoil everyone. <laughs> uh, spoil Rafi actually. But yeah, no, um, there were some pictures that were put up, just like, you know, a few face shots of some of the characters that you're going to see, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and some of them are familiar faces f- that we've seen before. That's right. And then there are also familiar starships that we've seen before too, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And a few other characters in those familiar starships, I guess that's as far as that go yeah. with what this photo show. Well, I suppose uh, it's not really a spoiler if we say that the Millennium Falcon <laughs> is in the movie. That's <laughs> probably not a spoiler. Yeah, you know, it's been in two trailers already. I mean, what? But is that really the Millennium Falcon? I mean, that's a different dish. It's not the same dish. Yes, but then the, the technology. Uh, <laughs> but that's speculation. Oh, but the original, the original dish was lost, and the. But it was a round was, dish. Uh, yes, so you know they could. Uh, well, it was the Millennium Falcon. Uh, yes, <laughs> duh. Han says, "Chewie, we are home." I mean, unless yeah, yeah. Han is daft, right? So, <laughs> yeah. it could be seen out like Sean. Can't recognize his own. Harrison Ford, you heard that? <laughs> yeah, I think you want to say it to Han Solo. So yeah, not Harrison Ford. He'll fly a chopper, come to you. No, no, no. He will probably crash land his plane onto. Are we like... making Harrison Ford jokes? <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> But still, uh, like Kathleen Kennedy said at a, a celebration, um, you know, only Han Solo or Harrison Ford in this case could have crash landed his plane in front of two doctors <laughs> <playing golf. laughs> yeah. while they were playing golf. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, I, I just want you guys to speculate. What are we going to see in this new trailer? Do you think we'll finally get some hints about the story or is it just going to be another teaser instead of a cinematic trailer? I hope it's still a teaser. Well, no, I, I hope it's a... Uh, it's, it's full length one but still just a teaser if you get what I mean you know no but it's so close I, I, I don't think they're going to give you teasers so no, close no teaser as in I, I don't want so much of the story to be revealed you know I still want them just to be shots you know like, like what they did with the, with the previous teaser that you know we get snippets here and there you know we get a sense of what might be happening what could be you know snapshots here and there Yeah. but to fill up you know maybe a minute or two something like that I think what Andrew is getting at, yes, and, and uh, we've got a good precedent at least with J.J. Uh, Abrams on what he does is because if you've seen his trailers for, you know, uh, Star Trek 
and also for Super Rate, Rate especially, oh, right? Yes. Yeah, that's that's my, my prime example where you actually just get the full two and a half minute trailer yeah, you and you see anything. lots of visuals <laughs> but you have absolutely no idea what's going on and yeah. it still turns out to be fantastic. I love Super Rate, by the way. Oh, yeah, I just I, I, I hope you know, um, I think the team behind, the marketing team and the creative team behind uh, Force Awakens, um, you know, I hope they don't pull the Terminator Genesis. <laughs> that was uh, oh, yeah. That's, that, that and, was yeah. and actually, I hope they don't pull an Age of Ultron as well. So much of Age of Ultron was, review, was revealed in the trailers beforehand, you know, um, including stuff like Actually, can we talk about spoilers on Yeah, Age of Ultron? people are going to complain, so better not. Yeah, well, you know, like when that guy and that guy did things to that guy, you know, yeah, that yeah. Kind of stuff. You know, sort of yeah, like. Those things. You know, you sort of kind of know what's going to happen with the movie already before you walk in. I mean, for some people, that's fine. They, they're fine knowing the, the plot before they go into a movie, they'll still enjoy it. But I think for us, especially with Star Wars throwing out the EU. You know, it's supposed to be completely new. It's supposed to be utterly different. We can speculate all we want, you know, about w- do Han and Leia actually have twins? You know, like they do in the expanded universe. Does Luke actually have a son? You know, uh, does he actually marry someone like Mary Jane? You know, and, and actually create a family that way? We have we have no idea because all of that has been thrown out, right? And I think uh, I'm in agreement with Andrew here, where I I would really want them to just 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 tease us all the way up until December 18th. I'm fine not knowing a single shred of plot. Yeah. Don't watch. It's very hard to do you that. Can't, you can't you not. Know? You can't not watch it. Yeah. Especially <laughs> being a committee member of this club in particular, it's very difficult. Especially being the moderator on our Swamp Fact yeah. Wall. Yeah. I'm going to be spoiled like crazy. So I mean, I, I'm trying to do my best to keep up to date with what's coming out. And so I guess it's going... But for Star Wars, I guess it's slightly different for me because for most movies, I'd not want to know what's coming of spoilers, right? But I think with Star Wars, I'm sure that I'm going to be blown away irrespective if I know the entire plot from beginning to end. But the thing is, I hope there's not much too, too much flares. Lens flares? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with lens flares, dude. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm fine with yeah. JJ. JJ, do your thing if yeah, you watch that's this. Yeah, fine. We, are, we approve of lens flares, it's alright. No, no, no. I mean, um, uh, there were already a couple in the second teaser trailer yeah. uh, when uh, the TIE Fighter... Uh, Oh, yes. already a couple of lens flares. And then I know, that, I saw that. That, that smash <laughs> cut thing of, yeah. of what, whatever they call that, that, that shot, right? The, the smash zoom. Jump, I jump think. zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, JJ, surprise me. Right. He's a, actually, yeah. He'll yeah. surprise yeah. you by putting in more lens flares. Yeah. 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 <laughs> actually, can. there's an interesting uh, there's an interesting camera technique uh, that JJ employed in uh, the trailer, which is what we call a Dutch angle, right? Uh, a Dutch angle yeah. is where, where instead of the yeah. it being yeah. straight, uh, it's canted slightly. Because it's supposed to symbolize that uh, one of the characters in the scene is suffering some some kind of imbalance. Mm. You know, that he cannot perceive this was reality. This the, the tie hanger yeah, sequence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I suppose we could speculate. And then it immediately cuts to Finn um, having a crisis of some kind with blood splattered all over his helmet. So I think we could put two and two together there and say that it's is Finn piloting the TIE fighter? Could he possibly be, you know, the one that's like suffering, you know, from some some sort of internal? Would you like to know the real answer to that? <laughs> I'm just gonna speculate. I don't want any confirmation either way. I'm just he, throwing. He just, he just, he's just, he's just sad that he's a short, he's just short for a trooper. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I suppose. At that's... least they've gotten past, you know, his complexion, which is good. Yeah, yeah that's right? a good uh-huh. thing. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about height because I think I'm the shortest one here. So yeah. <laughs> we'll sign up later and check. You're not Peter Mayhew. Sorry. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I think we've come to the end of um, <laughs> the second podcast. You all want to do some Wookiee impressions now? Go on then. Uh, Just do your own. No, I'll go. Rah, rah, I don't know how to do one. <laughs> I, I have a George Lucas one, if that helps. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, is there any like Australian. Oh, no, that's New Zealand. Zeb. Zeb, Zeb uh, from Star Wars Rebels, is an Australian. Yes. Oh. Ah. What do you want, kid? Get out of my cabin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Sean, any impressions? No. No? No, no, no. no. Not that impression? Sure. No, no that, that's meant to be... No! No. <laughs> meant to no. Be longer. <laughs> no. no. Hey, 
Hey, but you know we have got people who does the what the uh, I'm a father day where they did the Vader impression. Oh, oh yeah, actually yeah. 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 Actually, a quick I shout out to I think the winner of the I'm your father's impersonation contest, Anwar. That's right. Yes. It was yeah. Anwar. Yeah. Yeah. Extremely, extremely uh, visceral interpretation of uh, Darth Vader's iconic line. So yeah, absent father. I'm sure Anwar isn't an absent father because he was there with his kids. He was there with his kids. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know. So yeah, putting the Dark Lord to shame, right? (laughs) Okay, guys, it's been fun. Uh, Closing remarks from everyone. Hello there. Okay, Sanju. (laughs) Stay tuned for more podcasts coming up. All right, and our somebody who has a broken his broken his uh, podcast uh, duck slash virginity today. That was cool. That was cool, huh? This is cool too. Okay. Uh, I suppose you can take it back with you. Yeah, we have a, we have we have a special rewards program for first timers on the show. Yay! So no, I, I um, want to go back. You know, so all those cool stuff back there. I'll, I'll go take some. Yeah. Okay. Stuff. Sure. You. I mean, you know, as long as it's uh, for a good cause, it's for Star Wars. I, I don't. Exactly. I can't see. I can't see a problem with that. I mean, there's a nice painting up there as well if you oh, want yeah. it. Yeah. yeah there. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. By Zahir Batin as well, I think. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. by Zahir Batin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not sure if you guys can see it in frame. Um, but yeah. Uh, just, just put it up there right yeah. now. We'll put yeah. it up. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw the picture up there for you guys. Okay, so that's it from me. Apparently now I've been called Jedi Rafi. So yeah, uh, that's it from me, everybody. Um, good night and may the force be with you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>